Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using React.js as front-end, Node and Express.js as back-end, and MongoDB as the database. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will create the database and objects required for our app. Next, we will create the backend project using Node and Express.js. And finally, we will start creating the React.js project. Let's install Visual Studio Code. I have a Windows 64-bit system, so we'll download accordingly. Let's install it. Visual Studio Code is now installed successfully. Let us now install Node.js. First let us download the installer file. Let's install. Let's verify the installation by checking the node and npm version. We have successfully installed node.js. Let us now set up the MongoDB cluster required for our app. Let me log in to the portal first. We need to choose the free version for learning purposes. I will keep the cluster name as default. Let me create a user account for this cluster.
Let me now create a database and also a collection for our to-do app. Let me also add a couple of notes into my collection. We can get the connection strings to connect to our backend here. We have now set up our MongoDB cluster. Let us now create the ExpressJS backend project. Open command prompt and type the command npm init hyphen y. This will basically create a package JSON file which will be needed to add the other required npm packages for our ExpressJS app. Let us now install Express Framework to create our backend REST APIs. By default, the Express app comes with a security to disable requests coming from different domains or ports. To override this, we need to install another package called Cores. It is not recommended in production. Please only whitelist your familiar servers to access the backend APIs. Next, let us install the MongoDB client. I had some issue with the latest version so I am using the specific version of 4.1.0. Next, we need a package called Malter to read the request form data. Now let us open the project with Visual Studio Code. We can see an entry of all the downloaded NPM packages here. Let me now create a file. index.js. Here we will be adding our API methods. Let me import all the npm packages which we just downloaded. Let us create an instance of the Express app and make it use the cores module. Now let us add the connection string of MongoDB. Let us add the database name for making the MongoDB connection and also instantiate the MongoDB client.
app.listen will start the Express app and will listen to the requests coming from the mentioned port number. Let us instantiate our MongoDB client here using the connection string and the created database name. Once connection is successful, let us display a success message. Let us check if we are able to make the connection. Just type node space index.js to start the backend server. Let us now add the API method to get all notes data from MongoDB collection. Let's check if this works. We can see that it works and we can see the data from our notes collection. Let us now add the method to add and delete the notes in our collection. We will have a simple logic to auto-calculate the ID field based on the number of documents in the collection. Once added, we shall send a success response. Let us now add the method to delete the give document from the collection. We will be deleting the document based on the ID which we will be sending via the query string. Once deleted, we shall send the success message as response. Our backend project is now complete. Let's create the React.js project. Just open up the command prompt and type the command npx create react app and the name of our project. Let's open the project in Visual Studio Code. Let's simply run the project and see how it looks. We see a default template. Let's remove all this and put a simple header tag. Upon saving, the page refreshes automatically. Let us now add the HTML and the methods required for our app. We need to make few modifications to the app.js file.
we need to modify it as a component so that we can add the methods. Let us now add the constructor for this class. Superprops will basically help initialize the parent constructor as well. In the state, we can include the variables to be accessed in HTML. We just need one array variable to display the notes. Let's create a variable to store the API URL. Next, let us write method to get data from the API into the notes array. We will use the fetch method to call the API to get notes data. Once the response is received, we will update the notes array variable by setting the state. We have a lifecycle method call component did mount which will execute once page is loaded. We will be calling the refresh notes method here. Let's use the notes variable to display results in HTML. We need to first declare the state variables in render method. Now let's display the data in HTML. Let's check if this works. We see that the data is displayed as expected. Now let's add the text box and button to add new notes. Let's also add a button to delete a particular note. We need to pass the ID of the note to be deleted. Now let's complete the method to add notes. Let's first capture the input data from text box. Next, we need to create the form data to send to the post API method.
Once done, we will alert the message and also refresh the notes array. Similarly, let's implement the delete method. We need to pass the ID to be deleted. We will be passing it as a query string. Now let's check if everything works as expected. Let's try to add new notes. It works as expected. Let's try deleting it. The delete also works as expected. Our to-do app is now completed.